I've got two daughters, nine, year old, nine years old and six years old. I'm going to teach them, first of all, about values and morals. But if they make a mistake, I don't want them punished with a baby. You know, welcome to the broadcast, everyone. But every time I hear punished with a baby, I, it recoils in, in, in my soul. Um, <laughs> the president makes that statement uh, on the campaign trail because uh, some people say, well, he was just pandering politically. Fact of the matter is he really believes it. Uh, he, the pro-abortion nature is uh, so clear. And if you look at the policies that have been implemented by the White House, uh, they have clearly supported this kind of pro-abortion policy. But it goes deeper than that. You've now got Catholic hospitals being told that they're going to have to administer abortifacients. They're given one year to comply. You've got a situation where, and this is also to me equally tragic, where the crisis pregnancy centers are being challenged by NARAL and the National Organization for Women in Planned Parenthood. We've got litigation against Planned Parenthood, and at the same time, five, almost $500 million of your taxpayer dollars are given to Planned Parenthood every year. So realize, they're taking our taxpayer money to defend themselves against the lawsuits we're bringing. That included a whole series of, of lawsuits uh, that we've dealt with on this issue. Unfortunately, and this is the case, uh, we're funding it, and that bothers me as well. Our phone lines are open for you at 1-800-684-3110. That's 1-800-684-3110. Welcoming our television audience to the broadcast. Jordan, what is the latest uh, that you're picking up after the State of the Union last night, which got nary a mention of Obamacare? Yeah, and that, that really, I mean, it was interesting, Dad, because you hear in a lot of the messages from the State of the Union last night, we've heard already in the other two State of the Union addresses from President Obama, energy, of course, he killed Keystone Pipeline, and we talk about green energy, and we all want to talk about Solyndra, of course, where we lost $500 billion of taxpayer money. We didn't talk about Obamacare, his only accomplishment as president when it comes to domestic legislation. I think why? It's because you've got the case at the U.S. Supreme Court, and it's in jeopardy. The long-term care provision uh, is being voted on very soon by Congress to be taken out because the Obama administration told Congress... It won't work. So I, I think that's why you see the president shifting back to the same themes, yet he doesn't give you the full story when it comes to the energy, oil, green energy. The list goes on. Let me get you uh, agitated, folks, a little bit here and our television audience as well. This is, and I'll talk more about this after the break, announced president, quote, it's poppycock to say Catholic institutions have a conscience. We'll talk more about that when we come back from the break. As we do, let me encourage you, if you want to call us, it's 1-800-684-3110. We'll be taking your calls on air, of course. We've got an incredible DVD, and hundreds and hundreds of you have been asking for it. We want to send it to you. It's our gift to you, absolutely free. It's called Choosing Life. Just go to aclj.org or call us at one 877 989 Two two five five. If you want to understand the abortion issue, if you understand one, want to understand what's at stake for life, you got to have this DVD. Your kids need it. Your grandkids need it. You need to be uneducated as this issue becomes front and center in this election. Choosing life. One eight seven seven nine eight nine two two five five. Our gift to you: the history of the pro life movement. One eight seven seven. 989-2255. You can also go to aclj.org. And when you go to the website, make that online donation at aclj.org. That really helps us out. Back with more in just a moment. 